Hi, this is Bryce with Phytech Fuel Injection. This week on Tech Tuesday, we're going to show you how to properly set the throttle in reference to the IAC steps on an LS engine. First, I want to bring up the importance of setting the IAC steps on our LS engines as well as the throttle body EFI systems. When you don't have your throttle set up properly, you don't have enough air going into the engine when you're trying to start the engine. And then if you can get the engine to start, it may not maintain an idle. Or if you're driving and you close the throttle, the engine's going to stall because the system can't provide the proper amount of air. So when you first get one of our EFI systems, get it installed. This is a very important procedure. The first time you fire up the engine, you want to get it up to operating temperature. And then we're going to go into the handheld under the idle setup section and set the idle in reference to the idle air motor. You can't really see the idle air motor on this throttle body because it's mounted upside down, which is totally possible on the LS applications. But the idle air motor is down at the bottom. If the throttle body is the other way, the idle air will be right on the top. This is an air bleed that allows more or less air into the motor and when on a cold motor, the system wants the ability to add that additional air. When we set this properly, we give the system the ability to properly start the engine when it is cold. One of the biggest reasons of why we want to adjust the system prior to the electric fans turning on is the electric fans are going to put a big electrical draw on the alternator. That's going to put a strain on the engine, and when that happens, you're going to have to put more air to the motor to maintain that idle speed. The system does that by opening and closing that idle air motor. So we want to do this setting before the fans turn on so we get no draw on the motor in a perfectly normal state. So when those electric fans do turn on, the computer can then react to it and will adjust the idle as needed. So the beginning steps of setting up the throttle, we've gone through the handheld We've made any adjustments that we wanted to, so we targeted a certain idle speed. This is an existing setup, so we don't need to change our cam selection, our engine setups or anything. So we're just gonna go in, start the engine. We got our screwdriver to do our throttle adjustment, and then I could show you in the handheld, once the engine's running, what we're gonna turn on and how to adjust it. you can hear, there's a loud whistling noise. That's the idle air motor that we need to adjust. We'll go to the dashboard, scroll down to initial setup, and we'll find idle setup. Once we go into idle setup, we're gonna go down to the bottom to idle set mode. We're gonna wanna turn this on and hit send to ECU so it applies. This will lock the throttle position sensor at zero so we can do our adjustment. At that point we can go back to the dashboard and scroll down to IAC steps. We'll see that our TPS is at zero and our IAC steps are at 48. So we will adjust the throttle adjustment screw to get that number down much lower to under 10. Right, so we jumped over to our large gauges here you can see here that our coolant temperature is at 154 degrees. We want to wait to get that temperature up to operating temperature, so 180 would be good. At that point, we can go in and adjust the throttle position using the idle air adjustment screw on the throttle body to get the IAC steps under 10. Our target is somewhere between 3 and 10, so we're going to start adjusting the throttle adjustment screw in clockwise and that IAC step number will start to drop. As we turn the screw in, it goes down under 10. And bam, 5-4, perfect. And once we have our throttle set, so our IAC steps are between that three to 10 range, we'll key off, allow the system to save. Once the system has completely saved, it automatically jumps out of the idle set mode and we'll go back to normal operation. Now that we have the throttle set properly, if we have any issues as far as cold starts or things like that, we're not gonna be focusing on how the throttle's adjusted. We're gonna focus on other things like our cranking fuel. 
but this will ensure that we have the proper air going to the engine and that the EFI system is in full control of the idle using the idle air control motor. Thank you for tuning in to this week's Tech Tuesday. If you have any other comments or questions or suggestions for future videos, please ask them down below or visit our website, phytechefi.com, for more videos just like this one.